Hi, I'm Ratchet747, and this is my 1984 Ford F-150. This 1984 F-150 XL has a 4.9 liter straight 6, AOD transmission, and 3.06 gears. Go ahead and take a look around. Obviously, you could probably use some paint work. That looks good from a distance, but no. Bad. So, can you look our way around? Still has the original dealer emblem. And, of course, my favorite part overdrive. Can I look our way around? Yeah, this side isn't as bad except for that right there. But come on, 750 bucks for my original purchase price on this truck. So under the hood we have a, the original 1984 300 straight 6, which I've rebuilt this spring. See again, it's a paint job. Didn't turn out the best, but from here it looks pretty good. You be the judge. See, we got factory air. Kind of hard to find. Of course, power steering, power brakes. Yes, I probably should have painted that before I installed it. Fun fact, that's actually the first repair I did to the truck when I first bought it. Oh yeah, we got cruise control too. Then some modifications are underneath here. Mainly, fuel line's been redone to facilitate um, better heat transfer so that we don't get vapor lock. Otherwise, everything is pretty much stock. Oh yeah, this underhood light I added very recently, evidenced by that hastily installed zip tie. This vehicle features the EC4 control system with a feedback carburetor. See, we have the EC4 diagnostic plug right there. And of course, plenty of vacuum lines and controls there. All the wonderful sensors that make this vehicle feedback carbureted. So, best of both worlds, but also the worst of both worlds. This truck bed obviously could use some love here. A little bit rough. Yeah, I moved all the stuff out of the cab just for this video. Sorry. And I'd like to eventually get a proper bed liner put in this thing. Probably Linex, Rhino Liner, Hercules. Pick your poison. But that's a little ways off, as you can tell. Another recently installed upgrade are the mirrors on this truck. These mirrors came off a 1986 Lariat. Before, this thing had some really junk aftermarket mirrors. And then after that, some really junky hodgepodge mirrors. This has been my latest rendition, and I will say they're quite nice. A little fun fact that some of you may not know is we actually had three positions. So we can pull them all the way in, detent, then we come out to where I've been using them. But then, if you want a wider angle for like towing, you can pull them back like this. But I don't tow, so I usually keep them right here. Why don't we take a look inside the truck, shall we? So, some more modifications have been made. Nothing too far from stock. So first, we have a CB installed, and the antenna is that piece of junk right there. I'd like to get a quarter wave whip, but this haven't justified the cost. And then we have a custom auto sound radio installed. This vehicle didn't actually have a radio when I bought it. And that's actually been the best thing to fit the bill. Bill quality ain't all that great. It works and actually looks pretty nice. Favorite feature? Line in. I like to listen to my music besides the radio. And then, you can't really see it, but we have um, delay wipers installed as an extra option. Originally it had plain old two-speed, but again, same truck got those mirrors off of. Went ahead and grabbed that as well. And then, see? Different instrument cluster. Originally this didn't have a tachometer or a trip odometer. And I've gone ahead and painted the needles and actually I think it turned out quite nice. Again, you be the judge. And oh yeah, that. Apparently, the cluster I bought had a cracked um, cover, and, well, it showered on me on the first day I drove it, so I had to modify my old cover to work. Eh, a little bit redneck, but it works. As I was once taught in engineering school, if it works, it's right. Why don't we take this truck for a little bit of a drive? Need to move it back to the driveway anyway, and that'll find me a good time to tell the history of this truck. So, you may be able to hear this, but the AC actually does work. It's nice and cold. You probably can't feel that on the other side of the screen, but it's nice. Anyway, we'll go ahead and move her. 
So, I bought this truck back last July as a late birthday present to myself. So I heard 50 bucks, brakes were out of it, engine needed a rebuild as I later found out, and just needed a lot of TLC. There's still a ways to go with it, but no product's ever truly finished. Alright, we'll go ahead and look both ways. No traffic coming. Go ahead and drive across into this field. A little bit of a bumpy ride out here. Isn't really meant to be driven in, but we're doing it. Just for you. Oh, here comes a neighbor. Probably wondering what in the heck I'm doing. So let's go ahead and pull forward. That's what I get for leaving all the stuff in the back. Well, she's my daily driver currently, because that poor thing needs an alternator. If I get it fixed, maybe you'll see a video submission for it too. Anyway, thanks for watching, and please give me some votes.